Miriam Cushion. My name is Philip Cushion. I'm a woolen manufacturer. From Great Mana, Ireland. I am, with my dad, the current custodian of our family business here in Greggan Mama. So it's a woolen mill, and we make beautiful blankets, throws from lovely natural yarns. Our family traces back to 1778, so I'm sixth generation of the family. But I'm the first woman at the helm. Dad has been working in the mill since he was 16. He took over from his father. So dad is still working with us, doing what he loves. Today, their textile mill sits on the same site where the monks had a mill and relies on the same water source, among the cleanest in Ireland. It's ideal for dyeing. We can get colors that most people have difficulty in getting because the quality of the water is so good. It's a very special part of what it is that we do. Their blankets start with wool from local Galway sheep, the only breed of native Irish sheep. We're working with amazing partner farmers that breed them, and we get to know them all very personally, visiting their farms, meeting their sheep, and collecting the fleece. Once the wool reaches the mill, it's hand-sorted and dyed into 13 colors. These colors are then blended to create a range of different shades. So we dyed into really vibrant green, red, yellow, purple, black, and essentially that becomes our painting palette. The wool fibers are then put through the carding machine, where they're combed and aligned. From there, the wool is spun into yarn at the spinning mule, a vintage machine that pulls and twists the fibers to make them stronger. This mule was built in 1890. The mule is the oldest machine that we have. My grandfather bought it from a mill which was closing down. It's a very mechanical, beautiful machine. It's one of the last of its kind in Ireland. When people see it, they think it's a museum piece, but it's not, it's fully operational. Philip watches closely, correcting any mistakes as the mule spins and wraps the wool into yarn. If you don't look after the little things, they become big problems, and if you don't deal with it, it will come back to haunt you. I love seeing and learning from my father, seeing the love that he has for what he does. Next comes warping. The yarn is wound onto a large wheel, then wrapped around a warping beam. This creates the blanket's vertical treads. I actually run that process. That's one of the first stages of actually bringing it to life. After warping comes weaving. Strands of wool are treaded in horizontally to finish off the fabric and make it stronger. Then the newly created textile goes to the workroom where it's carefully checked and mended to ensure the highest quality. So we check for any flaws, any knots, mending all of that out. Over the next four days, the blanket goes through a finishing process that makes the fabric softer and stronger. And then eventually it comes back up to the workroom and that's where we hand cut, hand finish, do more quality checks. It can take up to six weeks to make a blanket, from initial design to final product. But there's no way to measure all the love and care that goes into each one. For us, we've only a team of 10 here, but every member of the team touches that blanket numerous times in its journey. So um, if you have thought about it and love it yourself, then other people will see the love and the passion in what you've made. I've always had a, a passion for it. I like the machine, I like the designing as well. If we cease doing what we're doing, we lose a key part of Irish culture. We're really passionate about sustaining those skills, sustaining that heritage.